everybody, it's Katerix, and welcome back to Niche. We are back with our Ultramarine Tribe, and I'm super happy to be here. I was looking at my guys before I turn on the game here, or well, the game was on, my recording was not on, and I was thinking, who do I want to mate next? Because we are kind of, kind of running out of potential, well, we're running out of breeding pairs that we've been using. So Hummingbird is about to die, which is very unfortunate. She just gave birth to Kaduk, so he is f fantastic. Like, he's wonderful. The only thing that could possibly make him better is a fishing tail. Really, that's it. His eyes are perfect. He has normal blood clotting. Uh, he has the water body. He has two claws. He's amazing. I guess he could technically have webbed hind legs, and I suppose that could help. But, I mean, he's he's great the way that he is, I think, anyways. I did remember that last time I said that I wanted to mate Swift and Falcon, and I did not do that. So let's definitely do that. I really wanted to mate Shrike, only because he was Owl's son, and I love Owl. And, well, his genetics are pretty good. The only thing is he has the short-sighted in his recessive, and I thought... Um, Rolasi would actually be a pretty decent mate for him, so I think they're gonna do that. I'm going to do that probably right now. I'm just a little bit worried about these short-sighted eyes for both of them. So I have a feeling this, this short-sighted eyes might end up being a bit of a problem for our tribe, but I will try to kind of deal with it. Oh, I get that fish. Fantastic. So I'm gonna put Rolasi... I'm actually just going to get her to make a nest. I think that's what I'm going to do. I was going to bring her over here, but I'd rather her not um, lose any more life just in case she gets the low oxygen debuff from being in here. So we'll deal with that that way. That's fine. And you can get rid of some grass, I suppose. Um, Hummingbird is dying this turn, so I am going to move her out of the nest. I'm going to move Eagle over here. And I really wanted to mate Eagle as well, just because she has pretty much perfect genetics. And I thought that I might also mate Falcon with her. Because when I was looking at these guys, uh, a lot of them share immunities with her. Which, I mean, is a little bit unfortunate. What about you? Yeah, like, he has G, unfortunately. Because he would have probably been a really great mate for Eagle as well. So I think Falcon is going to mate with both Swift and eagle. Now let's deal with this carnivore over here. So we have buzzard who doesn't have any attack. So <laughs> let's get her in here I suppose. And she doesn't have any fishing either. Buzzard you're no good girl. I mean you could be good. She has that H immunity. Oh she has the blind eyes in her recessive. She's not that great guys. She just isn't. <laughs> And then we have Lara, who I refused to name a bird name because I did not like her. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna... See, I don't want to kill her or anything. Because I feel like she does have two fishing. She could still be somewhat useful to our tribe. So I don't want to completely cast her out. So I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. But let's get Falcon over here. Is this guy dying? He might be. Falcon, let's get you over here and you can mate with Swift. Let's, can we check with Swift, I think? Yeah, okay, it's a dead clown koi. So let's grab the meat from that. And then she can have her baby next turn. That's no problem. Bull ball, let's see. Um. We can get you here, I think. Uh, of course, the fish are not going to let us catch them, but <laughs> we will try and maybe pay attention to that while we move rail, maybe? We can move rail this way. These fish are not moving. Yeah, I guess they're kind of moving. <laughs> this guy can go this way, and I suppose we will just move him one last time. These guys I'm not going to move, so we will skip the day and say bye-bye to Hummingbird and figures that Lara would get hit. I didn't- I wasn't able to move her far enough away. Uh, how many days does the carnivore have left? Eight? I think we can take care of this. 
Maybe. Oh, there's a berry bush right there. Nice. Okay. Let's get you here and get you here. Is there even a bird in the sky? I know that this island has birds, but I don't think the bird has really shown up even once. I think he was here at the beginning and then that was it. Okay, so let's get Swift in here. And let's check out our genetics here. Let's see. So, I mean, Swift does have the big body in the recessive, but I'm thinking about taking the chance and taking water body out. Maybe just doing that. Maybe water body out. Fishing tail in. Fishing tail in. There we go. Um, I'm, I'm, eh. Oh, man, I think I'm gonna take the chance. Oh, let's check out this baby. Let's check out this baby. Okay. He did not grab the water body from the mutation menu, which was unfortunate. He does have it in his recessive, though. Uh, it's not so bad since we're spending most of our time in the middle here because, I mean, he can still be in there and not lose too much life. Every so often, he will lose a little bit of life, but for the most part, he's okay. So, I mean... Hmm, Velocity, let's get you to maybe try again. And I think that, uh, I think that she has enough time that we can wait a turn before we do that. I don't want to put her in the water and have her lose any life, basically. So let's get Lara collecting that food. You there, let's see if we can't get you in here. Uh, is that clown koi dead? I don't know. We will have to see next turn. Hopefully he doesn't swim through us or anything. All right, let's get that. Oh, excellent. I forgot that rail has two claws. That's really good, actually. Man, uh, I think we're doing really well, though, on our food and all that. Like, we have 85 food. As long as we don't go too baby crazy, which I know is a little hard for me. Because I always go a little bit too baby crazy. But as long as we don't go crazy, we should be able to keep our numbers up. And we should be pretty darn good. I would really like to see the fishing tail come in. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when we skip the day here, we will not see a big bodied creature. Please. Alright, let's skip the day. Oh good. Oh thank goodness. <laughs> okay. So we have Ducro, who I am going to rename Finch. I don't think we've had a Finch yet, so that should be pretty good. Um, hmm, he's okay in terms of his genetics. When I look at these creatures' genetics, I always pretty much look at the blood clotting and the eyesight. So he's okay because he only has short-sighted eyes. Now that I am looking at water creatures, I would really like to see two claws. I don't really need nimble fingers. The bushes that we have here are kind of butts. Like, they're not really that good. And, I mean, I still want to see that fishing tail get in there, and it really doesn't look like it's going to do that for us. So, I mean, it would be nice, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Let's fish these and grab that dead clown koi. So that's good stuff. We can move you here. And is that Falcon? Yes, it is. So we can mate again. You little guy, you are going to be great for us with your four fishing. I love it. So let's get him in the water for sure. So he can grab the alive clown coys just fine. Let's see you guys. There doesn't seem to be too many fish spawning. I might have to throw some people in the actual ocean out here rather than have so many people in the... What would this even be called? It's not quite like a tide pool. Like, I, I would say no, it's not a tide pool, but whatever the heck it's called. A little pond, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what it would be. Regardless, um, there aren't as many fish spawning as there has been in the past. So let's get you... Um, you know what, Lara? This whole time, I've been wanting to grab some of these crabbits. I wanted to bring a... 
a water body over so they could get in the water, but I think because I don't like Lara all that much, I don't mind if she loses a little bit of oxygen being down here. So that's what I think we'll do. All right now, you guys can probably come around here. Oh, we got some we got some koi's. That's pretty good. Let's get you. Um Can I get you like here? Oh, they went the other way. Oh man, what can you do? Fishing is a tricky, tricky thing. Okay, let's get you over here. And let's see. I don't really want to move you guys. You can stay there. You can stay there. So I think we're going to skip the day. Yeah, she already lost some health, so I better get Eagle down here so she can hit this crabbit. All right, so you can grab that and you can move over here. Oh, like half her life is gone already. You know what? It was a good sacrifice, Lara. You you ended up being being uh, worth it. You were trying so hard for your tribe. You were willing to kill yourself for it. That is, uh, oh my God, we got the big ears. Yes, we got the big ears. I love it. And we have a cracker jaw, which is great because I would love to start collecting shells and for fishing. Oh, we got the fishing tail. Oh, Ronu, you are amazing. Who do I, what do I want to name you? What do I want to name you? Let's name you Kestrel. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. You, Kestrel, are absolutely fantastic. I love you. Just, just thought you should know that. I love you, buddy. That is great. I am so glad to see that fishing tail because I want it. I want it pretty darn bad. Relasi, two days left. Uh -huh. We could try. Let's just do it. There we go. So one more baby out of that. Uh, buzzard, let's get you over here. Okay, this guy really needs to come. Like, oh, well, we'll get those fish. So we will... Bring him over here, I think, is what we're going to have to do. You are going to have to go this way. You... Can you get these fish? Great. Two fish. Excellent. As for you... Should I take the chance again? With the, um... With the no water body in the mutation menu. I just realized something. This guy doesn't have water body. That's a little unfortunate. But it's also okay. Because we can have him in here... Or we can have him collecting shells. He can do all of those fine things. In fact, I think I will have him in here. And if anything, we will keep him somewhat near the edge and see if we can't uh, get get some clown coys without losing too much health from low oxygen. So Kestrel, you're still going to be good. I still don't mind. I just forgot about uh, not having that water body in there. And you know what? Let's try this. And let's put Water back e Body back in, because I realize that I still have her on the nest here. And let's, let's, let's switch it. Let's just switch it. You know what, Swift? I'm gonna take her off the nest for this turn, just because uh, I'm, I feel pretty confident taking Water Body out with these guys. Like, I know that I can get the big body, but I'm not too worried about it with these two. So, I mean, fingers crossed, basically. All right, get it! Yay! We got this little guy, Kaduk. Why is your name Kaduk? I thought I renamed you. I didn't? Okay. I named someone Finch, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's rename Kaduk. Let's name him... Crow. That is not how you spell crow. There we go. <laughs> let's name him Crow. So he can be our little crow and he can... He can get all these clown coins for us, as well as uh, Kestrel. And Rail still actually has a decent amount of time left, and he has four fishing as well. So I'm pretty happy about the creatures that we have with four fishing, just because I was a little bit worried about not being able to get all these clown coins and their delicious, delicious meat. So let's, uh, let's skip the day then. We will check out this lovely baby. We got Koana, who... Oh, you didn't grab the water body either, my dear. But other than that, she has some great genetics. Her blood clotting is great. Her eyesight is great. 
Um, I mean, these paws are kind of whatever, but I can deal with it. I don't usually mind too much about the paws, although I would prefer having some claws for fishing, of course. But let's put this in the mutation menu, and I'm actually going to switch them around. And then this way, we can put Swift back in the nest. And you, my dear, can probably come out this way. Oh, excellent, we can get some fish. Nice! Let's go over here. And I believe that we can get you... Oh man, why? <laughs> well, at least this guy can grab these fish. We can probably get you over here, and good! We were able to grab a clown koi with that. Let's uh, pay attention to this over here, what's happening with that. Oh, is that close enough? No, not quite. Come on, get closer! Oh man! <laughs> Did he do it? Yes! Good! Patience! Patience is a virtue! We did it! We're awesome! Alright, let's get you, uh, uh, get that fish! Awesome! We will continue to have Shrike kind of collect this stuff. I don't see why not. This little guy, Kirdukta. Um, I think that we can maybe get him around here, and he can probably collect some shells for us with his nimble finger. Rulasi! That is her final day. Let's grab this stuff back up. And I suppose that she can also collect some berries for us. So that's pretty good. Uh, actually, that was probably a mistake. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. The birds don't like to show up. So <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Laura, you're gonna die this turn probably. But it was worth it. Uh, let's bring her back up. There we go. So, uh, yeah, Lara, you did your job. Good job, Lara. Okay, you, sir. Finch, let's get you in the water as well. And that fish, well, we'll, we'll sneak him out here. We'll get him out in the open there for everybody else to catch. I think we are good, so let's skip the day. We will check out this baby. Oh, no, carnivore! Okay, let's check out this baby. Yes, she got the water body, and she didn't even get the big body in her recessive or anything. So that's fantastic. She did not, however, grab the fishing tail. She technically didn't grab the claw either, but having one claw is pretty darn good. So let's call you... I don't know. We'll go with Woodpecker. That was the next one on my list. It seems like a funny name, but it's okay. We got it. Let's get you over here. Let's have you mate. There we go. And get her directly in another nest. That works for me. You can, I guess, just do this stuff. Get rid of some grass for us. And you can do that. Um, Eagle, who am I going to mate you with? Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to mate her with Falcon. But that's too bad. But I think we are going to be okay. Oh, yes. Let's deal with this before I forget. All right. Get you out here. You, um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know about having the children fight the carnivore, but it's going to have to work. We will move her here. The carnivore won't be able to get to her, so I guess that's okay. So this carnivore is going to hit somebody for sure. But, I mean, three days left, it's okay. We'll be alright. And you there. Let's try and get some of these, uh... What are they? Clown coys. Let's try and get some. There we go. We got one. So we're doing it. Let's go here. You can grab that. That's pretty good. Uh, oh no, this guy died. Oh man. Okay, is that close enough? It wouldn't even matter because he doesn't have the energy anyways. <laughs> okay. You. Uh, there are. There was a clown koi over here. Looks like we may have just missed it. That's okay though. Buzzard! I mean, you can't really do much, I suppose, but you can at least help us move the fish around. And let's see, let's see. You, that's it in terms of who we can move, and we're not moving her, that's for sure. So let's try again. We will skip the day. Let's see who gets hit here. Oh, the baby! Oh no! Oh no, the baby! <laughs> oh man! Okay, we have Tavanta. Who grabbed the fishing tail? Thank you so much. Finally, Fishing Tail has the water body, which is also lovely. I'm going to name him Parrot. That works for me. That's totally fine by me. 
Uh, let's see, Falcon? You know what, I am gonna have Falcon have a baby with, uh, with Eagle. Yeah. Oh my, you are alone, my dear. Let's just move you like that, just in case. I know that the bird has not decided to show up for, like, several episodes now, but, <laughs> but I just want to make sure, just in case I'm not paying attention, that any babies don't die. That would be, uh, good, <laughs> I think. Swift, this is her last day. It is also Falcon's last day, so, I mean, they can die together and kind of coo over Parrot here. That'll be fine. Let's check out this baby. Is he okay? Kestrel! Oh my gosh, you lost so much life. Oh, that makes me very sad. Let's make sure to lick his wounds and he can grab this food for us. And you can do that. And, uh, you have a nimble finger, so you can grab that. And you, sir, can come and get some clams, probably. If we can find any. No, we didn't find any, but that's okay. You, Kestrel, let's bring you over here. We don't really have any healing plants on here. We have the ones in the water, but I'm not willing to bring Kestrel into the water. So we're just gonna have to pay attention to his lifespan. He is like such, such great genetics. So I mean, I definitely need to find a mate for him like as soon as he turns into an adult. So that's what I'm gonna do for sure. As far as, uh, well, Eagle, Eagle can stay there, I suppose, and wait for the nest. Uh, let's try and move you like this, and maybe once more? Ah, uh, there we go. So we can get one of these clown coys. That's pretty good. Let's get you moving. You can grab those fish. That's pretty good. All right, Buzzard. I guess we can't really do anything about the clown koi that was there, but we can move Buzzard around a bit in the hopes that we can have some extra fishing happening here. As far as this goes, let's see. Let's just move just so we can maybe get some fish close by. Excellent. You are about to die, but you know what? You did your job, Lara. I feel like Lara redeemed herself because she helped us get these crabbits. So <laughs> that's pretty darn good. As for everyone else, I think that we are pretty good. And you know what, guys? I am going to leave it at that for today. Let's just skip the day. Let's just see if anything happens. Say goodbye to these guys. Uh, we will check out eagle's baby next time we will deal with this carnivore next time and we will find a mate for kestrel because he's not quite old enough yet but he will be in a day so <laughs> that's what we will do all right guys so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Bye bye